So this is how you record a sale. Please note that you need to record a service or product or enter it into this before you can record a sale. So if you want to record a sale, you come here and you click on sales. And then here, you put in the date. So let's say it's July 2nd again. Now, <clears throat> this pops up automatically. You know, let's assume you sold a bag uh, and you know, the quantity is one. Uh, and then, um, you know, it's gonna fix this, it was taken out. So, you know, it's gonna be protected anyways. So you sold this, you sold one, everything populates. Now at this point, let's assume you sold it for cash. You leave this as yes. If not, you say no. Uh, if it is a credit sale, you're good. But if it is not a credit sale, you wanna come here and click POS sale. And that th that said, it, it, it pops up as a POS sale. Now, if your company or business is um, a VAT, uh remitting one and you pay that or maybe you know like the new rule in nigeria uh if you make revenue that is over 25 million you're meant to pay that then you come here and click yes it charges the vat and you know pretty much this is the total amount you charge your customers so again let's assume let's do another one for uh service so this time this is in liposuction of course you know <clears throat> that's the amount you charge but you know how things are um you may you know have a negotiated amount maybe you know the this patient is someone that you you know it's a returning customer and you, you didn't charge them two million you can just override this unless as you may charge them one point um, so put that in and boom, that's all you need to do. Then, you know, again, if you charge VAT, just click yes, and that's the VAT. And this is, this is gonna be the total, you know, charge. Now, again, you see that, you know, there's something called remitted here. I believe when you charge the VAT, the aim is to eventually remit it to the government, but while you charge it, just make sure you click on not remitted. When it's remitted, you come back here and then you make sure you click on remitted. That's all you need to do. Um, I believe this shows you the example. Now, if you like the customer relationship management um, aspect of this, you can just unhide this, you know, put the name, let's assume Femi is your customer, you know, you put your number, just assume, puts my uh, email address, uh, Gmail or whatever that is. Um, uh, date of birth, customer type, if it is a company, distributor, retail, customer classification, repeats, you know, we said it's a repeat customer or maybe even a loyal customer, then, you know, if you want to put the location. But if you don't care about all of this, it's also fine. I'm just going to take everything out and then I did again. So that is how you record a sale.